Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, the author of many books on drawing cartoons, and today I'm going to show you principles of exaggerating cartoons. And to do that, I'm going to use a dog character. I'm going to show you how to draw a basset hound, which is one of my favorite types of dogs. I'm going to show you how to do this with exaggeration. So here is back of his neck and flat, straight line. And that's already an exaggeration, because there's no such thing as a flat, straight line when you're drawing an animal or a person. There's always a curvature to it. Top of the head is going to be flat, again, and a little bit of an indentation here. I'm going to draw his muzzle, because he's facing in a side view. I have big, big faces, big faces, but this is going to be bigger, because we're going to exaggerate. So let's just get the basic look, and here's the neck here, and put the eyes over here, I make that back of the head come out. Look, I am trying to create a very exaggerated basis for this. And before I even start, I want to get a nice exaggerated foundation for it. See what I'm doing here? Okay, so now let me get these two eyes close together on the same side of the face, even though it's the profile. So that's an exaggeration right there. We're breaking reality, because in a profile you only have one eye. So I'm already breaking it here. Let me put that in to start. It kind of, kind of sets the tone. Okay, another one, the eyebrows. You'll just put eyebrows out and think about them. Here, I'm gonna, he's gonna be happy, so I'm gonna put them above the head. They're gonna float, up, they're gonna levitate. Levitating eyebrows, don't usually see that in reality. Well, I have an uncle whose eyebrows levitate, but that's another story. Um, all right, so the cheek way up high, way up high, because I'm gonna give him a really big smile. And here are the flues, and that's that little part that dips for the dog. Now again, in the profile, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see the split lip, but we are being goofy here. Let's put a nostril in, and again, we're caricaturing this. Nostril's not really going to look like that on a dog, okay? Some whiskers, but we're putting in all the right parts. We're just putting them in the wrong places. So that's why it looks funny, and that's also why it doesn't look completely wrong, why we can recognize it. So we'll give them a couple of teeth back here, kind of where we'd see them on a human. On a dog, you'd see them up here. I'm gonna give them a tongue, pull that Flap it over this way, like so, and a little bit of a scooped lip down here, rather than a big jaw. I'm going to make this a very small back of the head here. Just again, to make it funny. For those who want to know a lot of absolutely useless trivia, this is anatomically called the occipital protuberance right there. And it actually is important for cute characters because cute characters need to have that be prominent. That little dome on the top of the head is a very important part of a cute character. All right, so now let's start with the ear up higher than the eyes. Now for a character that's really big like this, we use contrast. And I don't mean contrast in black and white. I mean he's really big, so the ear is going to be really thin, rather than a big fat ear. It just looks funny, see? It looks funny. And it's a completely useless ear. It can't do anything but flop. That's why we exaggerate again, and we show that it can lift up which it obviously cannot, so we are breaking reality again. 
And that's funny. I mean, who would have thought that ear could lift up? But he's happy. We're going to use that as part of his happy expression. Let's color this in, but we're going to leave that nostril area open. Give a couple of surprise lines or happiness lines here. We'll just darken in the mouth a little more. And a couple of shadows around the eye area even more. And have that go into the bridge of the nose. Gives it a little feeling of solidity and depth. And there you go, there is your funny basset hound exaggerated all over the place to give you an idea that whatever parts go in, give them a little extra thought and see how you can do something with them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please visit me at my website where you can see all my books, ChristopherHartBooks.com. Join me on Facebook and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos uploaded every Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.